Hi, I'm Melinda Van Fleet, and welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I'm a success coach, speaker, and business consultant, and my husband Ryan and I were laid off at the same time 10 years ago. We moved to the Florida Keys without jobs, not knowing anyone, hardly any money, and we'd never even been here. But we made it, and now we're living our best lives. And all along on our journey, I've said that someday when we get our quote-unquote shit together, we will help others. And since then, we've both done a lot of self-work and built successful businesses. So that day is here, and one of my ways of paying it forward is through this podcast. Each week, my intent is to be relatable and bring you tactical tips, tools, share my learnings and stories that can help inspire or transform you wherever you are in your career or general life and make an impact. I strongly believe that if I can do it, you can do it too. So what's stopping you? Hi everyone, welcome. This week is my part two. As I promised last week, I was going to do a part two solo episode where I recapped my experience getting a soul introduction reading from Deborah Lupian, who is akashaunleashed.com. And just to recap really quick, she has been on my podcast twice, episode 60, she did a beautiful guided meditation. And then episode 67 was our conversation where we recapped a little bit about my soul reading. We also talked about her book, Akasha Unleashed, and we talked about um, her YouTube channel. And uh, it was just a really cool conversation. It's just fun to hear, um, you know, her insights and her words of wisdom. So I wanted to just give a little bit more information about the soul introduction reading because honestly, I just think it was so helpful. And if this is new to you, if you're like, what is she talking about? And maybe this podcast isn't enough information, please feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on Instagram, Melinda underscore Van Fleet. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. My Facebook group is called Good Vibes, and you can also email me at melinda at melindavanfleet.com. So I just want you to know that, um, you know, a lot of this information is new to people, and, you know, it was kind of new to me. I understood the gist. I just didn't know the process, and I had never had it done before. So I went in with open heart, open mind, and was just really excited to get the reading because I just think it really helps you take action and move forward, which is what I'm all about. I want to help everyone be able to take action and move forward because we all deserve to live our best lives. And when you have one of these readings, the soul introduction reading or any other readings, um, whether they're from Deborah or Laura, like I talked about last week, or just, you know, so many other people out there that you can get various readings from, even if it's a tarot card reading, it's just so insightful to learn more about yourself and figure out how you can um, move forward with some just challenging situations that may be coming up or learn more about your own behavior and how you can do things better or how you can just accept who you are, you know, whatever way you want to look at it. There's so many different scenarios, obviously, but that is just some of the examples of different ways that you can use these tools. And before we get started, really quick, I just want to also mention that my private coaching is open and I would love to help you. I'd love to share tips and tools and tricks and ideas and stories that can just really help you, help you live your best life. Are you stuck doing something? Are you stuck with a relationship, with your job? You know, there are so many things, toxic relationships, toxic work environments. So definitely feel free to reach out to me and schedule a conversation and let's uh, see if we can work together. All right. Now, when I had my soul introduction reading with Deborah, she was already prepared. She already came to the Zoom call with the information, which is a little different than what Laura did. Laura and I chatted over Zoom the whole time, which is versus Deborah had the information, and then we also chatted. So just a little different. And I'm going to read some parts, but I don't want this to get too long of a podcast or too me droning on and on. So 
again, I'll probably just hit some highlights. And um, if you have some questions, feel free to let me know. In the soul introduction, we are seeking to discover who you are at the soul level. What are your particular gifts and what blocks exist that prevent you from expressing them? So the blocks is the conversation piece of it for the most part. As Deborah walks through all the different sections, she gives you a lot of time to process what she's talking about and then have conversation um, for clarity. And that piece of it is really helpful and really important. So the per first part of the soul introduction was what was my soul gender? And I'm not going to talk that much about this because I could probably ramble on and on. <laughs> it was just like going down a rabbit hole when I was thinking about it. And my soul gender is male. Honestly, I wasn't surprised. I'm going to probably do a little bit more thinking around this, maybe some research, and maybe I'll circle back and make this a podcast because I find it quite interesting. But my soul gender is male. My soul gift is the communicator. This section, Deborah and I spent a lot of time chatting about. And I love this section because obviously I'm in the space of coaching and speaking and writing. And I'm more new to this space than maybe some other people that have been in it for a long time, primarily because I was in the corporate world and then also built a business versus skipping those sections. I did all that. And so I love just hearing that my gift, the communicator, is where I'm supposed to be. And I'm supposed to be helping others and teaching and sharing and really maximizing that gift. So it says, you thrive on teaching and sharing your message, and you do well speaking on stage or in a classroom. Writing comes easy to you. Words may even have texture and substance that others are not aware of. You have probably taken this for granted, not realizing it is your special ability. Wow. That just like really hit home. And what a lot of people don't realize is I helped my husband write and work on his content for years behind the scenes. And now he's like up and running and I'm really just an editor and I look for things that maybe he forgot that are great nuggets for his audience. But I've been doing this for a long time. I've just newer in the space as far as getting out there on social media and all that fun stuff. So I just truly loved this part of the conversation. I thought it was amazing. She talks about inspiring people and helping them move into action through the power of my words. I excel at helping others change at the level of thought and mind by introducing new ways of looking at life. I just, <laughs> this couldn't have been more perfect. So that was very cool. So I wanted to share that piece, not necessarily about me, but more about you. So when you get a reading like this, maybe you're working on something. Maybe you're working on being an artist and you have that fear of, oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? When you get a reading like this and that comes up, wow, how amazing is that, that you are getting a total sign from the universe that you are on the right path. So that's really what I wanted to share is just some nuggets from that section so you understood if you get a reading like this, how that could really benefit from you. And that also really helps you have the confidence to keep going and level up, move forward, however you want to put it. There are so many different, you know, avenues, you know, talk to new people, um, join a new club, take a different course, you know, whatever. But that confidence comes from getting wisdom like this that just really inspires you. So I think that's really cool. Part three was soul tribe. And my soul tribe is parallel. And it's a really, really, really old tribe. And I've heard before that I have a really old soul. So that made sense to me. We didn't talk that much about this piece of it. Um, it might be something that I learn about as my spiritual journey continues. But uh, just, just kind of interesting little nugget that that was part of the reading. The fourth section is the soul specialization. It's a big word. And that is that I'm a restoration master. So I'm just going to read this because it's quite fascinating. Restoration masters have an innate understanding of how the divine soul blueprint manifests itself into our physical experience. 
As such, they have a deep understanding of when people are making choices that go against their own divine nature. This was another section that we spent a lot of time on. And for me, it provided so much clarity and insight. This was like the aha moment that you hear about. Ah, When I was like, wow. And when we started talking about it, just different things that irritate me came up in this part of the reading. So when you start to think about the different things that irritate you, whether it's a person or a conversation or your work environment, I'm sure many people can raise their hands on that one. You know, it could be a neighbor. It could be your husband or your wife, whatever. It could be so many things, right? And when you start to realize that it might just be part of your soul and maybe a a place where you're at versus where they're at in their soul journey, it just puts it in so much perspective and it helps you be more understanding. It helps you be more forgiving. It just helps you like let that shit go. And it also helps you go, okay, maybe this is where I take a stand on something. Or again, this is where I let something go. So I just loved this section. I thought it was amazing. And I never thought that anything like this would be covered in a soul reading. I I just really had not thought of that. The gift wasn't a big surprise. As I said, gender wasn't a big surprise. Soul tribe, I I never thought of that either. But in terms of actual deep discussion and getting clarity and insight, the soul specialization coming up as restoration master, that was just such a... In an enlightening, an enlightening conversation. I, I can't think of a better word, but um, enlightening just really helped a lot. And I've used that thought process and these learnings from Deborah daily, daily. Like I might get an email and it might rub me the wrong way. So I kind of take a step back and regroup. And she has all this typed up in a, a Word doc that she gives you. So she gave it to me. And I refer to it. It's just next to my computer. (laughs) And so I'm like, I need to read my paragraph again about Restoration Master. And it just really helps alleviate that stress and anxiety so I can just move forward with my day. And the final section is called Life Lesson. And mine is generosity. And it's funny because generosity is something I just feel so strongly about and always have ever since I was a kid. I've just really noticed when people are not generous with money, whether it's tipping in a restaurant or just helping someone out on the street, donating. And also, you know, generosity isn't just about money. It's also about your time. It's about your knowledge. It's about helping other people. It's about collaborating. It's about, let's say, someone helps me with something. I help them back twofold or I pay it forward and do something first. And so generosity has always just been an important part of me and to learn that it's my life lesson. It's what I'm here in this lifetime with my soul to really experience, to share, to perhaps even be more generous, um, teach others. I just think that was really cool. And the, the world could <laughs> probably use generosity from everybody. You know, if everyone were generous, imagine what that would be like. Um, It's just pretty amazing. And I just think that um, that was really cool. That was like a really cool way to end the soul reading. So I really, really, really recommend getting some of these things done that I'm talking about in, in terms of having a reading from somebody like Deborah, someone like Laura, getting hypnotized by someone that truly knows how to do hypnosis. Sherry Broden is someone I talked about in a podcast way long time ago last year. You can read, listen to that. Uh, Tarot card readings, you know, and you might know somebody, you know, there's lots of people online now. I just think it's um, becoming more, uh, how do I put this? Uh, Not such a big secret. I think that's the best way to put it that people have these skills and they are there to help you. 
They're there to help you get clarity. They're help you to get focus. They're help you to work on any challenges you may have. And they're just, it's just really awesome. And the last piece I want to mention about Deborah is her YouTube channel. It's in her name, Deborah Lupian. And all this will be in the show notes. But she does a monthly call over Zoom. I think it's the third Saturday of every month, second or third, she always says. So this past month, it was the third. And she asks the guides your questions. So you put your question in the chat and she asks the guides. It's amazing. People are asking about jobs. People are asking about health. I asked about money mindset. Um, my question, actually, my little recording is in my Facebook group, Good Vibes. So if you join my Facebook group, you can listen to the reading. And it was just really fascinating. And the answers that she gave me were just so helpful. And I just really appreciated it. And I, I truly believe that everyone that was on that call got a lot of value. And it really helped them get through whatever challenges in life that they were dealing with. So if you wish to be part of that on a monthly basis, I would just sign up on her email list, which is on her website at Akasha Unleashed, and you'll get the email that gives you the date and the time, and you sign up for the Zoom call then. So just very cool, very cool. And you know what? It's free. It's amazing that she does that for a couple hours on a Saturday to help other people. I think that's amazing. And you know what? She's very generous herself, which is really cool. So I hope you like this podcast. I would love to hear from you. I would love to know, do you like hearing stuff like this? Um, I know some people might be a little out there for you. Uh, Like I said, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Melinda at MelindaVanFleet.com. And feel free to follow me on Instagram, Melinda underscore Van Fleet. Also, my newsletter is a monthly newsletter. My website is goodkarmasuccesscoach.com. And at the top, there's a new personal challenge. You just take it yourself. And there's some journaling pages in there as well. And then my monthly newsletter is called Monthly Monday Mojo. So it'll be out June 1st, which is right around the corner. So until then... Be grateful, be curious, always be learning, and you know what? Have some fun too. Thanks for listening.